In this section, we'll look at an overview of the lab report. The lab report is an APA style uh, uh, research lab report that focuses on the use of exploratory factor analysis, reliability analysis, and multiple linear regression to address some research questions and hypotheses that you'll need to set up in the introduction. The data available will be drawn from the data collection and entry exercise. Um, the general marking criteria within each section will relate to the quality of execution of the task, whether that's the introduction method, results or discussion, quality of written expression, the contribution the section makes to a cohesive, meaningful overall report, and 10% will be around APA style. More detailed breakdown of the marking criteria can be found uh, in the lab report guidelines. The introduction is only worth 10% because the emphasis is on the results and the discussion section. Uh, the overall word, word count is 3,000 words plus 10%, which is all inclusive of everything between the beginning of the intro and end of discussion. Uh, and these are some suggested word counts per section. What I wanted to focus on um, in this first tutorial are the requirements for the results section. Uh, and the main criteria being that you must present at least one exploratory factor analysis that will most likely be of either the student satisfaction questions or the time management questions. Pick one or the other to focus on. You can present two if you want to, but in that case present one in detail and the other one can be presented uh, as a summary analysis. That will be followed up by a reliability analysis and the creation of composite scores which will provide scores for the new factors that you've developed. Uh, for multiple linear regression, the minimum requirement is one MLR which has at least three predictors predicting uh, one dependent variable. Again, you can present more than one analysis if you wish to, but only one is required. Some background information about the expected factor structure can be found in the uh, link to the survey page. Uh, for example, for student satisfaction, we might expect the items to cluster into education and teaching uh, an education and teaching factor, social satisfaction, administrative and support uh, and flexibility of learning, technology, library related aspects of satisfaction, uh, utility and relevance of degree and layout and navigability of campus. Uh, they are hypotheticals only. You may find a different factor structure which is appropriate to the data. Similarly for time management, some possible factors you may identify. Uh, effectiveness of time management, are people good at it or, or not so good? Uh, actions related to time management including goal setting and monitoring of progress and procrastination, avoidance of, ta of uh, tasks.